Hey again guys. So this morning I was uh, diagnosing a computer. Uh, it's a 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro, uh, mid-2012. This is the A1398 uh, unit. Uh, this particular machine, what would happen is when you would power it on, it would uh, turn on, seemed like it was working fine, it would get to the Apple logo, and this one actually made it all the way in. And after doing a little diagnosing and testing, what happened is the screen went black. Uh, there was still a backlight, but it went black. And then a little bit longer, the backlight even turned off. So like the display completely stopped working. And I've already taken the board out, but um, I just recently thought, hey, I need to do a video on this because this is actually a really common issue with these machines. So much, in fact, that there was an Apple recall on these for a while. And this board had been recalled by Apple. And it's supposedly to be fixed. Uh, but it's not. And I'll show you the reason why. Uh, what happens with these boards is the GPU chip will actually lose power completely. And the, and what gives the GPU power is the GPU GPU V-Core chip. And look here on the, uh, the schematics. Uh, you have this chip here, the U8900. Uh, this chip is your GPU V-Core. And so let's find that on the board view. So we'll do a search, U8900, and it's this chip right here. So what happens uh, is very common in, with these boards is this chip, this GPU V-Core, uh, just all of a sudden stops working. And it no longer is getting power, uh, it's no longer putting out power, I mean, to the GPU. V, uh, GPU. Uh, what the V-Core chip is, is a power supply. That is your power supply unit, your voltage core that sends power to the GPU. If that chip's not working, then you're not going to get any graphics processing, and the board will not output any image uh, externally, internally to the internal uh, display. It's not going to work. So let's take a look. I'll show you where that's located again on this board. It's here's the board, and you can see it's located in this area right here. Now, like I mentioned, this one had already been supposedly fixed by Apple under the recall and I'll show you what they did to fix it. It's kind of humorous. Oh, let me turn the microscope camera on here. Should be coming on in just a moment. There it goes. Alright, so here is our GPU V-Core chip. Now, do you see what I see? Right on top of the chip here, it's like this piece of rubber. <laughs> this is Apple's fix. They have put a piece of rubber on top of the chip, and when you add that piece of rubber, and then what you do is you install it back into the machine, and you screw it down, what happens is that piece of rubber is adding a little bit of pressure on that chip. So adding pressure to it fixes it for a little bit. It doesn't really last long at all. Um, so the correct way to fix this is to, um, the issue with these is these contact points all around this chip, the solder points here, those are what is weak. And when those are weak, you get a crack and when the the um, solder cracks, you're losing contact. The chip no longer is outputting the power because it no longer is making connection to the board. And so what Apple has done is they put a piece of rubber on top of this in hope that it would add pressure to the chip, making those cracked joints connect and help it to keep running. Does not work. So we're going to fix this correctly. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to replace the solder around the chip. We don't even have to take the chip off to do this. Uh, it's actually a really easy process. We're going to add flux to it first. Let me get focus and then I'll get the camera in focus here. There we go. Alright. So we're going to add flux all around the chip. And now we're going to add some 
let it solder to the joints. Gonna replace that lead free solder that they have on there with some leaded solder. Just like so. See how much those, how much shi how shiny those joints are, and how nice they look. All right, we're gonna replace the other ones now. The other side, I had to flip the board around so I can work on it. Okay, one more side. Alright, and that is how you really fix it. You fix the solder joints. You don't add pressure on top of the chip and hope that those cracked joints are going to stay connected while it works or while it's on and hope that the customer doesn't have any problems with it. Now we fix it correctly and I'm going to install it back in the machine and show you that it does work. So give me a few moment, moments to do that. I'm going to clean this solder off or this flux off of that chip. Uh, get it nice and clean, get it back in the board, and I'll be back in just a moment to show you that it's working. All right, so I have the uh, board back in, and we're going to add some power to it and see what happens. Plug it in. Have my test drive in. Got an option key. Okay. All right, so my test drive here. Let's boot into that. Alright, so as you can see, uh, we've booted into the test drive. I'm going to go ahead and boot all the way in. As you can see, it's working. Um, it is a little bit slow because I'm booted off a USB thumb drive. Uh, the, oh, the, the Mac OS is kind of slow when you uh, are initially booting into the Mac OS from a thumb drive but it is working perfectly fine. The display is staying on like it should. Um, what we're going to do now is uh, put it through some stress testing, uh, put a GPU stress test on it, make sure that the GPU is going to uh, you know, uphold the, the repair. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, we're not going to add... Uh, where'd that little piece of rubber go? I'm not sure. I think I threw it away because it's junk. There, we're not going to add a piece of rubber uh, to your board to fix it. We're going to fix it correctly like it should be. Uh, the issue with this machine is the GPU v-core has weak solder joints on it. Um, instead of adding a piece of rubber like Apple did on their, uh, their recall, uh, we're going to fix the solder joints with some better solder um, and we're going to get it working where it's not going to fail again. So uh, that's how we fix it here at PowerBook Medic. Uh, if you have this issue and you want to get it fixed, please send it to us and uh, we'll get it fixed up for you and no problem. And we do offer a six-month warranty for all our larger board repairs as well. So, anyways, that's how we do it. Uh, hope taught you something on this. Give you a little insight on to the Apple's way of fixing it versus the real way of fixing it. And uh, let us know if you have any questions. Hope you have a great day.